Welcome to another YouTube video here on my channel. I want to make another YouTube video that is very, very personal. And I want you guys to also get a bit of value in terms of my periods in SMMA where I felt like quitting because I might seem like this guy that never quits. So I want you guys to also understand that just because you are in a position where you feel like quitting and you then see me and all the other successful social media marketing owners have also had those thoughts. And I want you to understand that it's very normal. So in this video, I want to give you some valuable tips that you can use if you get those thoughts and what you can do to actually prevent you from quitting. I started running my own social media marketing agency in April, 2021. It was very, very hard for me because I realized that I needed to basically make a decision. Did I want to run a successful business or do I want to be a normal teenager that is going out partying with his friends and having a very good social life? It's very, very normal that you have that decision when you're just starting out because the reality is you cannot do both. And what I mean by that is having a successful company requires a lot of time. You can definitely have a side hustle in SMMA making an extra three to 5K without having to necessarily cut away all of those activities. But I always wanted to have a very, very successful business. And I knew in order to get that, I needed to cut out some of these things, which meant I needed to cut out a lot of friends. I needed to work instead of partying. I needed to work instead of gaming. I needed to work instead of being with friends. And I accepted that. If you can't accept that, then you're probably not meant to be a successful business owner in general, at least not at the point you are right now in your life. And that's totally fair. I get that. It's a very, very hard decision for you to make. And I completely understand that. But if you have made that decision, I want you to also know that there's going to be times when you cannot understand what it is you're doing. And I can just take my personal experience into that. And I want you guys to understand and have a true picture around me. I don't want to be known as the guy who always had this beautiful life because I didn't. And I want you guys to understand that. How do you stay motivated and how do you actually prevent yourself from quitting? So for me, it has always been my motivation to not live in a nine to five. And I know it sounds pretty silly and you're probably saying that's dumb. Everybody says that. And yeah, everybody says that, but I could never imagine myself having to work from eight till five in the afternoon, come back home, make dinner, and then be together with my family for four hours before I go to bed. And then I do that for five days a week. That's not me. I never wanted myself to have kids one day and tell them that they needed to save money in order to get something that they wished for. And that's just how I am as a person. I truly disrespect that. And I've never grown up in a family where I were told that I could just get whatever I wanted. But I always want to make sure that I can provide for the people around me. I want to be able to help the people that are around me that I care about. And I never want them to suffer or to be able to not try something because we don't have money. That's just how I am as a person. And that's not any disrespect towards people who do not have money. So my whole motivation and my whole reason why always kept me going. And that's the whole purpose of this video. I want you to understand that you need to tell yourself and you need to find out why it is that you want to achieve your goals? What is it that is really going to keep you going when everything sucks? And I can tell you right now, I had a period in my life where I was in the last year of high school. I'm not saying that's hard, but I was stressed. I was working 10 hours a day beside school. I was the most annoying son and boyfriend at that time. And the reason why I kept going, even though I was told by a lot of people around me that I needed to cut off work and I needed to get back into my own routines is that I knew that if I quit it, if I did not kept on working, at some point I would basically be at zero again. And the whole motivation for me at that time was my reason why. It was that I know for every single day that I don't do not work, I'm not getting a step closer towards my goals. And now this can sound pretty arrogant. I do not really care. But if you do not have a reason why, if you do not have something that is holding you accountable to yourself, you're never going to get success in any part of your life. You're never going to be able to achieve your dream life. You're never going to be able to achieve your dream body because you do not have that reason why and you do not have that discipline. So let me tell you how strong having a reason why is. I want to tell you a story that not a lot of people know because I didn't really speak up about it. But in April 2022, two months before I was done with school, 
I at that time lost my girlfriend. Now you can probably say, oh, how horrible, but that's not what I want you to understand. I want you to understand that I lost my girlfriend that I've been together with for, at that point, almost three years. And a lot of people do not understand how hard that is. They simply do not understand that. And they do not understand how hard it is when you are the reason why you lose her. And I'm not sitting here and trying for you to feel sorry for me because that's not what I want. And I'm not sitting here to try and call her out or anything. I just want you to have a clear vision. The reason why she left me was because I focused too much on work. I did not focus on having a relationship like I did beforehand. And that is totally my responsibility. Nobody else, not her, not my parents, not my business, me. And at that given time, I was in a very, very weird place because I had a business to run, but I just lost my girlfriend. So the people who know me, they know that the only person I basically spent time with was her. And it was very, very hard for me because now I suddenly lost a part of the reason why I did as I did, right? I wanted to take care of her, I wanted to take care of my family, all that. And losing one of my reasons why also gave me a really big clarification because now I was in a spot where I knew that I needed to find another reason why. As I told you in the start of this video, my main reason why was always I wanted to take care of the people around me. So I needed to find myself, I needed to find my core elements of why I were to keep going. Two months later, I was done with school, basically best period of my life, and it was. But losing a girlfriend that you have been with for so long, that is basically your whole reason why, was hard. And you are going to go through the same exact things. And I want you to understand that it's normal. It is very, very normal that you're going to go through a period of time where you hate your life. It is very normal and I want you to understand that. And that is also why I wanted to make this video. I wanted you to understand that it's normal because I have done it and I bet a lot of people also have that is in my position. I want to be vulnerable. I want you guys to see another side of me than just this arrogant business owner telling all people that they're fucked if they have free clients. I want you to have another side of me and I want you to understand that I have worked my fucking ass off to get where I am. And I have been through times where I did not want to do what I do. But the reason why I kept going was because I know why I keep on going. I have a strong reason why. My motivation keeps me disciplined. And you're never going to be motivated every single day. But you can definitely do something about your reason why. And if you find your reason why, you will be accountable to yourself and also the dream you have. And that is my main message in this video, is that I want you to do me a favor. I want you to find your reason why. I want you to find out why you're doing as you're doing. Maybe that can be working towards your goal or goaling on social media. But I want you to sit down and imagine your dream life. And then I want you to understand and maybe clarify for yourself, why is it that you want to achieve that? What is it that is going to motivate you? And then I want you to make sure that you always remember that, even when it's hard, because it is going to be hard. It's not just going to be like a roller coaster where you are basically laughing the whole way through. You're going to have times on a daily basis where you feel like quitting. And I want you to understand that it's normal, but I want you to have that reason why in the back of your mind every single time you feel like quitting. Because I felt like quitting a lot of times, one of the times when I lost my girlfriend, but I didn't. So if I can do it, you can do it as well. So that was it for this YouTube video. I hope you like the bit more chill style with me being a bit vulnerable to you and for also that you liked getting another side of me. And if you did, please make sure to leave a like and a comment and make sure to subscribe. It truly means a lot to me that I reached 100 subscribers and I want to keep on posting valuable content for you guys. But that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.